As violence continues to grip sections of central Kingston, the head of the police division has revealed that migrating criminals have been carrying out some of the attacks. Now, Superintendent Maldria Jones-Williams was speaking on Power 106's morning agenda. The Kingston Central Police have had their hands full over the last few weeks due to several gun attacks and reprisals across the division. Communities known by names such as Southside, Tel Aviv and Spoilers are just some of them. Superintendent Maldria Jones-Williams is head of the division. We have 32 gangs in the space, 15 active out of that 32 at present. Um, we also find that the gang activity it does, it's not centered only in Kingston Central. We have gangs who are affiliated to gangs in St. Catherine North, St. Catherine South, Kingston East, Kingston West, even as far as St. James. The police have increased their presence in the area, but the residents say more is needed to help bring an end to the bloodletting. PNP caretaker Imani Duncan Price has intensified her calls for a zones of special operations to be declared in the division. We're free, the grand pit of them free and charm at that. We need justice down here, sir. Several arrests have been made in relation to shootings and murders in the division, but a trend is emerging. To carry out their activities, they normally um, use or solicit the help of these um, affiliates outside of the division to carry out their gang activity. That aside, Superintendent Jones-Williams says the team remains committed to address the problem in central Kingston. She is, however, renewing the call for residents to continue assisting the police by providing information. Trust, as you said before, is, has always been an issue. It's an inner city community and the residents don't trust easily. Um, that's a fact. And they, 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 they don't give up information that readily. But, and we're going to maintain our presence in this space for as long as it takes to ensure that the residents remain safe. Anthony Log, TVJ News.